So after one failed attempt, now it is working. And it maxes out at 80 kilowatts, which is uh, normal because this Phoenix contact plug, everybody uh, who uses CCS charging regularly knows this plug and this is the old one as I like to call it um, without liquid cooling so then 80 kilowatts is your max um, I wanted to show you higher charging speeds but at this station that won't be possible so I'll just do it like this and yeah, the, the whole infotainment system, sorry for the wind, probably a lot of noise in the background. The whole infotainment system went down on me for a couple of days and it just booted up again on the right over here. But this also means that I cannot show you, demonstrate you the fast charging um, because I had 100 kilowatt charging speeds when the whole system went down because I feel that it's all connected internally so the software system that normally pushes down the charging from 100 kilowatts to 80 kilowatts after you've been charging for two minutes or two and a half minutes everybody who's driving the iPace and tried Ionity charging and so on uh, must have known must have uh, been in this situation by now that system throttling the charging doesn't seem to be active when the whole infotainment system crashes which it did because of a failed CCS charge in France this weekend yeah a lot of crappy stuff coming together anyway I'm still wondering if I can trigger that um, by pulling a plug in the fuse box which always takes the so when the infotainment system shuts down, the backlight actually stays on. And then I always, I found a trick to take that system down, which is more important because sometimes it depends on, yeah, how the car feels when the infotainment system shuts down. But I've had it playing the radio nonstop. Um, so together with the backlight that stayed on, sometimes the radio stayed on even all night if you just leave the car so then if you uh, go away with a low charge then maybe you wake up and the battery is empty because the radio has been playing all night and not even want to talk about the neighbors thinking like what is this car doing and they're right anyway to shut that down you can disconnect a cable in the fuse box in the trunk um, and put it back in and I wonder if doing that when your infotainment system is working fine might trigger the whole system to shut down, which obviously sucks, but then could end up in faster charging, which I don't know, it doesn't sound like a great deal. I, I totally agree, but it is interesting. Like when you need this fast charge and then you could just pull this plug, have the whole infotainment system crack, and then have the faster charging and yeah you know one day the infotainment system will come back I've driven for it's Tuesday now and Saturday the system went down so it can take half a week of driving before it comes up back up but maybe if you drive less than I do the system might actually reboot quicker who knows like this is so hard to tell anyway um, I'm in this small small town is there an indication on the machine? Uh, not really. Ah, yeah, here. Stadtwerke Neuruppen. So they deliver Ökostrom. So that's uh, organic electricity, if you like. No, I'm joking. But it's good that they have this fast charger in the middle of the town. And there's a. Italian place over there 
there's a bakery really next door there's a Skoda service center so when Skoda is doing EVs they will get lucky in this town because they got the fast charger right in front of them uh, I like towns with fast chargers so uh, really really happy to uh, be able to charge up in a town actually and doing it quickly so I can just get back on the highway after having uh, some small lunch and you're ready to go again well imagine this Jaguar i that doesn't have the three phase charging just putting it here for an hour on any normal 22 kilowatt chargers will gain you one like in one hour you will gain sort of seven kilowatts kilowatt hours I mean yeah it's nice and it will get you out of the town again but then not much further anyway time for lunch uh, maybe pulling some plugs and doing more videos later at Fastnet or Ionity tomorrow I want to go to Hamburg on Thursday I'm driving back to Amsterdam who knows what happens on the road I'll let you know Electric Felix find me on Twitter Instagram YouTube wherever you want or just on electricfelix.com read my newsletter my blog yeah whatever you like have a nice day signing out from Neurupen